Yeah. Go to that one Gordon Ramsay place. Is you can afford that. Oh, yeah. Oh, go to the Taco Bell Canteen in Vegas. That one's really good, too. Totally worth the trip. All right, anyways, guys. After a long-awaited time here, Yanni versus TM4. Really quick update for you guys, and especially for VOD purposes. I'm going to tell you guys right now, Zenyu had a DQ. Uh, he wasn't willing to stay out too late. So Zenyu DQ, that means Yanni got a buy-in to fight TM4. Uh, for those right. of you guys wondering. And and Admus also DQ. Correct. So, so the winner, the winner of, this of this goes, goes to in the grand, grand finals. finals. Crazy, crazy night for all you guys. And both these guys lost to the man in grand finals, which is Ape Man. These are some very interesting up Bs coming out from Yanni. I'd be really scared, man, because the last time I think we saw... Hold on. Didn't TM4 send Yanni into losers? I think it was, actually. No, it was Ape Man. It was Ape Man. Ape Man sent Yanni into losers. Oh, wait. It was, it was a different... It was D-Dog. It was d Yeah. Was so, honestly, if I was Yanni, I'd be scared, because the way that uh, TM4 was able to catch the recoveries in the air, especially against that upbeat, Ness in the air and you recovering in the air on Ness with no hitbox is really rough. Yeah, and also TM4, as you guys can probably see, is very good at punishing the minecart in neutral as well. Like he's yeah. really consistent in just hitting Steve out of that. And uh, a lot of Steve players will rely on that move a lot to just get in on their opponent or just maybe even just catch them off guard. But you can see it's not super effective right now against TM4. Yeah, and especially because the first thing that Steve does is go for minecart is just what they do, as you saw, jump out of it. Because you can usually bait an opponent to jump and avoid the minecart, or go for an aerial and try to catch him out of an aerial as well. So TM4 immediately knows the game plan for Steve, specifically when it comes to minecart. But also, Steve doesn't have a lot of good options in terms of neutral, and minecart being one of them is not that great, especially for a character or against a character like Ness. But there's going to be the gold-powered minecart, high percents, that'll definitely take it. Really hard to react to because there's armor with it too as well. But you only get the armor and you only get the speed for that minecart if you happen to mine gold and redstone. You have to have both. Oof. Right he before just the he didn't even care about the minecart at all. He just kicked him out of it. <laughs> like he didn't even get touched by it at all. That's crazy, man. TM4 looking to just fight Ape Man for sure with game one. Yeah, very dominant. He's just really good. Like, I don't know what Steve's he's been playing, but he's very good at this matchup. It was kind of funny too, because I remember like a lot of people theorycrafted uh, early on that this would be a really hard matchup for Ness, especially off stage, due to like how the blocks work and everything, and uh, the down tilt too. Mm -hmm. But it's it looks like it's just so hard to even put Ness in that type of situation. <laughs> like he hasn't been really put in an off stage situation in this match already. Okay, so if, if I'm right, since we're on this Kalos stage, he gets uh, iron more often. Correct. Because of the terrain of the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the terrain, if, if you guys watch the Nintendo Direct, you guys will know Steve is able to mine out more materials on the terrains of the stage based on that. If you go to a battlefield version of the stage, then the mining will change also. So there's kind of a funny counterpick notion of like Steve gets more iron here, but also if you take Steve to something like Town and City or Smashville, it'll be very rough for him to get higher materials. Yeah, it's funny. I guess his best stage would be Lila. Then, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Lila, and um, coincidentally, this stage as well. It's also important right now, to know about Yanni is really Ooh. taking advantage of the stage to just make it very difficult for uh, TM4 to approach. 
Yeah, he's gotten diamonds very often now too. Even using the platforms as well. Like, very nice. Very nice use of the minecart off the platform there. And uh, this is what you want, as especially as a uh, Yanni. Huge, huge string already. 60%. Able to actually work with the lead uh, for the first time. Yeah, ooh. Good to use it against the anvil on the way back. All right, Yanni, look with an excellent use of the diamond axe. Glides his way back through. Bills on the trap. Now he's got more diamond here and gold. Yeah, this uh, setup is so interesting for me to watch. <laughs> like, the, he literally just like walls himself off to where his opponent just has to like waste all this time trying to approach him and get past his like his barrier of blocks while he just gets to mine all of the materials he wants. Oh, he could kill here. Mm, yeah, the anvil. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's... it doesn't matter if it hits Ness or not. It'll just slow down his up enough for it to kill. Or rather, won't be able to make it back. Combo again. Oh, Oof. crazy setup there. Oh, double Nair. Not enough, though. Okay, he's got the TNT in place. If TM4 does not, yeah, I was gonna say, TM4 has to be extra careful to recover. If he rolls, he'll set off the trap. If he normal gets up here, it's Yon who can set off the trap. Oh, there's the block. No, not what? enough. Good angle, actually, from TM4 to get past that. Gonna read the mesh out? Yeah. Yep, yep. See, TM4 again, he like doesn't like to immediately mash out because he wants to avoid the up smash. But if the Steve knows that, they just can follow you, get the easy port air too. Exactly. So it's kind of like a 50, it's like a damn if you do, damn if you don't situation. And those situations, the best way you can do to escape it is honestly just try to mix up your timing. If you see, you can try to mix it up and see if you're going to fake a mash out, forcing the Steve to try to go off of the forward air or an up smash, and then you can make the recovery better. So to speak, it's better just to mix up your mash out timings in this one. Oh, that counter pick was everything for uh, for Yanni, honestly. Yeah. I don't expect him to be able to play on it again, though, <laughs> for <laughs> this set. Just to correct myself a little bit earlier, um, Steve's up B via Elytra actually does have a hitbox. I just don't know when exactly the hitbox is active. But I think it's like at the beginning, at the very beginning, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, for Steve's up B? Yeah, the Elytra. Yeah. It's like a very beginning hitbox. It's like the little spark thing of like his yeah. wings. Yeah. Also, when it's, uh, yeah, when he like hits you with it directly, you can like hit you too. Yeah, and it's also important to note that Minecart itself and Steve come out of frame 18. So you can hit him out. This is why we see TM4 go for it a couple times. The Minecart itself is active though from frame 1. So it's important to note that as well. All right. Kind of seeing the uh, immediate difference in picking this stage. Like, he hasn't gotten that much iron at all <laughs> playing on this stage right now. But there's the up smash. Really good stream here. Even if he doesn't get the second forward air rep, uh, that's still 37 off of a grab. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Nice setup again using the blocks. Oh, we're still living. Good down on the back throw. Oh, really? I really like the movement that Yanni demonstrated there. Just unfortunately whipping that back air right in Mrs. face. See, he changed the mash out timing. So at this point, Yanni couldn't go for up smash or forward and mix it out. And that was good on TM4 to understand that. That's the only thing you could do is kind of mix up your mash out timing. Yep. It's not entirely hopeless as it's. Oh, very risky. 
Nice PK Thunder here to get himself back on the stage. Excellent yeah, slice I, I don't the think back I've seen too. Yanni get a single diamond so far. Yeah, so far he's been able to escape himself from getting hit by TM4 in the air, because usually that would be the one thing you would fear. He's getting hit by Nest back air forward air or nair, especially with Elytra's only starting hitbox. And the way that you're seeing TF4, TM4 using PK Fire is very smart because he gets the angle while he's on the platform to be straight instead of angled. Out of downwards one, PK Fire. No, no follow up here. Oh, yeah, unsafe, unsafe grab there from Yanni. Mm. Oh, oh. Yeah. Got a little greedy with the PK fire, so we had to really respect the down air from, from Yanni. Not sure if he still has the diamond oh, or not. What but, a oh, read the in the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, he does still have the diamond. Oh, the, the big combo. Nice. Double forward air into the up air. Yeah, what a or, sorry, reversal. Up oh, yeah, very easy to punish that. But I spoke too soon. Yeah. Really unsafe a B on shield, but no punish. He still has the diamond though, so this could be really good for him. Yeah, he TM4 on the, the back foot. Diamond. He's got to watch himself here the minute Yanni moves. Yeah. Oh, nice. So the magnet, but it doesn't matter because he still has that diamond forward smash. Wow. So quick. That's crazy. I'm sorry. That was tough for TM4. He made the right call, too, because he legitimately wanted to absorb the explosion from the TNT, calling out Yanni for that edge guard. But unfortunately, like, Yanni read the absorption, and he knows with the diamond pickaxe and forward air, I'm sorry, and sword, you could literally just win it over because there's so much knockback and damage you take from pickaxe, especially if it's a diamond variant. If you go for the gold pickaxe and gold um, axe and gold sword, it's much faster in terms of frame data by one frame the move. That's the difference between using gold, iron, and diamond. Diamond is more damage and knockback. And then obviously iron is base damage, much stronger than wood, wood being the weakest, but gold gives you faster oh. frame data. Oh my but God, he teched the block. He teched his own block, so he didn't die to that. Yeah. And like, like, Hel like Helvet said, Steve has Cloud's Fair and Resend Bear. It's only as good as those moves if he has the variants with gold and diamond. If he has regular uh, iron or wood, it's not going to be as good. Yeah, the down tilt's very good at Ness. Uh, catching Ness's recovery. Yeah. Oh, he almost went directly into that. And he would have got the extended hitbox off of the crafting table, too. That was very risky for TM4, but it ended up working out for him. Excellent offstage carry here. Watch the match. You can mash out. Steve's offstage. Yeah, he had enough time to avoid getting uh, punished for that. Oh. oh. Caught in the dashback. Up. Yeah, caught in the dashback animation. Nice directional air dodge too, and using the side magnet to try to heal. Oh, uh, great DI. Still able to make the recovery here with PK Thunder. Yeah. Watch the diamond weapons here, though. That's a rough angle he's going to be sent at. Ooh, what a read. Trying to mix him up on the DI. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if he can forward smash the minecart back. I think that's what he was going for. Yeah, you can. You can reflect the minecart back. It is reflectable. Dude, that combo. Crazy. 60% from Yanni. Incredible. Yeah, minecart is like ban descending banjo up B. It only gets the armor if you have gold and redstone. But it will always be a command grab. It's important to note that minecart itself is a command grab. Yeah, so if you try to shield minecart, it can actually grab you from the shield. So be careful. It's best to try to avoid it entirely. Oh. oh. 
still got the down smash out. Man, yeah, that up. block actually really messed up his recovery. Even though he didn't fly out getting, you know, edge guarded by it, it just messed up his timing just enough for me to be caught by that. But, he got smash at the ledge. Oh, TM5, that's been the uh, 48 already. Look at that on TM4. Yanni with oh, a big comeback right on back the up, card. Bro, yeah. All right, same right, play with the last game. Oh, wow. That's Ooh. so much damage and knockback. What? Dude, what percent was he at? The 48. Heck? He was at 48 strides. What the? He was at 48.